I absolutely love to drive. It, it relaxes me. I enjoy uh, the trip. I, in, I usually get audio books on CD and put them in and just drive along. And the only time that I've ever had where it didn't relax me, I remember it vividly. I had a 1973 Ford Pinto. It was orange, bright orange. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm driving along, I'm driving to Florida, and I mean that whole car is vibrating. It's vibrating so much I couldn't even hold the wheel at, at highway speed anyway. I was, I believe, in Georgia, and I saw this sign along the highway, get your front end alignment. Well, I didn't think uh, much would help that car at that point, but I went in, and I got everything balanced and aligned. I was amazed. It was a new car. <laughs> well, that is a car, and if, if you've ever had wheels out of balance, you know what I'm talking about. But I'll tell you something that you and I have had at times. We've had life out of balance, where it's just hard driving our life, and we just are bouncing along, and we can't really go at speed because we're just so out of whack. And that's the time that we need to... Uh, we need to get a higher help. And when we have that higher help, everything can change. In Romans 8, verse 6, it says, To set the mind on the Spirit is life and it is peace. To set the mind on God. To, to look at God. You know, often. I will have to reboot my computer, and, you know, it just won't work. It'll freeze. And when I reboot it, everything works fine. You know, you probably have to do that, too. Well, there are times, my friend, when we have to reboot us. Uh, many times going to sleep at night and waking up in the morning will do that. It'll get us back in balance again instead of so out of whack. But at any time during the day, we can go to God. And when we go to God, stop focusing on our problems and go to God, then we have life and we have peace. Well, the tires on a car need to be in balance in order to perform correctly. And uh, give that smooth, stable ride that we seek when we drive. Well, you too, and I too, need to be in balance. We need stability in our lives so that we will have a smooth life and an orderly life. Well, what are those things that will put us in balance? Do we need better physical health? Well, a balance of healthy foods and exercise, it's a good start toward health and greater vitality. I often say you need a balance of play and work. Uh, play hard and work hard. Do you need a better relationship? Uh, are you having a rocky time in some of your relationships that you have? Well, you may have had uh, many problems in the past, but when you have a new balance of God action, of giving and receiving, of listening and understanding, it goes a long way, a long way in establishing a wonderful, harmonious relationship. Are you seeking peace and contentment? Of course you are. We all are seeking that. Well, above all else, God's love and God's wisdom will create that balance, that stability that will get you through any day and any night. God creates a divine balance in our lives. And God creates a stability that will keep us poised and will keep us secure. So if you're all shaky, 
driving down your road, your path, I invite you to try God and you'll find that you have a new stability, a new smoothness, a new calm. God bless your day with balance.